All right, guys. So, listen, I'm not one for the social media drama, but obviously everybody else has done their response video on this, and I, I just came, had a couple minutes to actually watch this video. Uh, I had saw like snippets of it, so I didn't really know the exact circumstances. So before I ju jumped to any conclusions as to what had occurred, uh, I wanted to watch the whole video. So thankfully, I just saw the whole thing. Um, I don't really watch Jason Genova. I don't know much about him, to be honest. Um, but I, I am somewhat familiar with him. Excuse me. And the fact that obviously he's he's not all there. Um, you know, and you know he says things and does does things. I guess that he think he thinks is funny, or you know he doesn't understand. That I think sometimes he's misled and, and walked into certain situations like this that just happened. Um, so obviously he's got this Order sixty six thing, and obviously when he does that, all of his trolls and viewers, I guess, come out and spam other YouTube channels, Instagrams, whatever, which can be annoying. That you're getting 800 comments, uh, you know, with this kind of stuff blowing up your social media, and um, yeah, I, I can understand it's annoying, but I don't think he truly understands the full effect of what he's doing or, or the effect that it has when he does these things. And after watching this video, a couple things bothers me. Rich is a grown ass man who's, who's probably smart enough to realize it because if you're watching the conversation. You can see Jason like doesn't really know what's going on, and Rich is talking to him, and like Jason's not getting the hint. And then he starts talking about it's not cool, it's not fair, it's not right, and then you say slap boxing. You can see Jason doesn't is like even though he's like kind of slap boxing, he's going to like tap light. And Rich, you know, takes like two big shots at him and cuffs him pretty hard, um, which I don't think is the right thing to do. It's not like a normal guy like myself or somebody else who, who has full mental faculties that is talking trash and then showing up to an event, and the maid deserves to get slapped in the face. This is somebody who's a lot more innocent um, and, and is just trying to make a name for himself in a different way. Now it was disappointed to see what Rich just did. It was, it's even more disappointing to whoever, I guess, I guess is maybe one of Jason Genova's buddies or who helps him film or whatever the case may be, is filming this and cackling like an idiot in the background thinking it's funny. And if you watch later in the video, you can see that Jason Genova is visibly upset and rattled and is like devastated by what just happened. There's something wrong in society when this becomes funny. That's not funny. This poor kid doesn't know what's going on. And thankfully it wasn't with closed fists, but basically got, you know, slapped. Um, and physically assaulted without really understanding the true capacity of the situation. And the people who should be watching over him allowed this to happen. He thought he was playing and goofing around because he was pretending, if you watch, he's pretending to put the microphone, or like, like he's interviewing Rich Piano. He's putting a microphone in his face. At least that's what it looks like to me. Then he gets cuffed in the face. And then Rich, you know, they go to the handshake and they end up like not letting him go and almost trying to like uh, intimidate him. And you can see in Genova's face that he's like visibly scared and rally. He has no idea what just occurred. Guys, if any of you found this funny, it wasn't. I'm sorry. It was wrong to do this in every, in every sense of the word. It was wrong. Jason is a harmless kid who, who doesn't even understand like the gravity of the situation that he was in. All right, guys. I, I'm just disgusted. I, I really don't have much more to say than that. I'll talk to you later.